Today we are going to focus on the second part of simultaneous equations. So for Cambridge Lower Secondary, um, we are focusing on a learner's book. The topic is 4.2. We have already looked into a substitution method in the previous video. And now we are going to focus on elimination method. Okay, now moving on to uh, the method on how to eliminate. If you look uh, at the symbol I put in a circle here, it's a plus, you know, plus additional addition symbol. So to eliminate one of the terms, uh, like we want to eliminate the term X or we want to eliminate the term Y, variable Y, we have to either plus or minus. Uh, not necessarily minus just because of the name of the topic is elimination method. No, sometimes in order to eliminate, you have to add, sometimes you have to subtract. It depends on the question and depends on the terms provided. Okay, let's uh, look at a few examples uh, to train you whether we have to plus or minus. To the smart students who don't have such an issue, you can now straight away skip to the following part of the video. You can straight away go to the questions. Uh, this is uh, for the weaker ones or the average uh, level students who actually cannot understand where to plus or where to minus. Okay, now let's look at it now. So in order to cancel or in order to make the terms become a zero, we have to either plus or minus. So this case we have to minus. The reason is on top it is a positive 5x or you can write without a positive sign as usual, doesn't matter. Then we put this minus and then this plus. So minus then plus 5x. So make sure when you are planning to plus or minus, you include the symbol of it, the sign of it, whether it's positive or negative together. So if we are trying to simplify this, 5x, the minus pos uh, positive is going to become a negative. So 5x minus 5x is going to become zero. So this is the meaning of elimination method. We eliminate the 5x and 5x and make it become a zero. Okay, we move on to another example. If there is a positive 3x on top and at the bottom there, there is a negative 3x. So we have to quickly decide whether we have to plus or minus. Okay, for this case, we have to plus. The reason is we write the terms on the top and bottom together with the symbol that we put. Okay, positive 3x plus a negative 3x. So the positive negative in uh, the middle is going to become a negative. So 3x minus 3x will become a zero. So that is why we have to plus. So if you are uh, trying with minus, it won't become a zero because minus minus in this uh, two symbols, yeah, minus and minus, will turn it into a plus, a positive. So it won't become a zero, it will become a 6x. Okay, I hope you uh, get an idea on where to plus or where to minus. Okay, one last example for this part, for better understanding. Okay, if there is a negative 4x on top and there is another negative 4x at the bottom, so we have to minus, okay, we have to minus, we cannot plus. So we draw a straight line like this, okay, and then we quickly eliminate or we just put a zero at the bottom. The reason is negative 4x minus with this minus together going to become plus. Negative, negative become positive. So negative 4x plus 4x will turn into a zero. If you are using a plus straight away here, your answer won't become a zero. It will become a negative 8x. So remember we want to make the term to become zero and because we want to eliminate the terms. Okay, 5x plus y is equivalent to 27, 2x plus y is equivalent to 6. I have labeled the equations there, uh, equation 1 and equation 2. If you don't want to label, it's up to you, but make sure when you're writing the working steps, the teacher who marks your uh, work or the examiner who evaluates your work can understand what you have written. 
Okay, first step, we make sure one of the terms is the same. What I mean is whether x on the top and bottom is exactly the same or y uh, on the top or bottom, they're exactly the same. So in this case, y and y, they are same. Positive, negative doesn't matter. Uh, we must make sure the latter is the same. So here y and y are same, so we are going to eliminate the y. So remember guys, uh, we have to eliminate the term which is the same. Top and bottom, the, the terms must be the same. y and y or 2x and 2x or 5x and 5x, something like that. Positive or negative doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's continue with it. So it's a positive y okay, and another positive y at the bottom. So in order to make it become a zero, we have to minus the terms. Do you remember what we have uh, done in the previous part? If there is a plus on top and there is a plus at the bottom, we have to minus the terms. So I'm going to draw a straight line here and I want to put the minus symbol here. If notice, the minus symbol has been placed in this area. Some people will draw a circle around it to show that they are doing minus or plus. Okay, it's up to you. So now we are going to minus the equations accordingly. 5x minus 2x is going to be 3x. And then the next part is very important. A positive y minus another positive y is going to become a zero. You know, students, are you can just ignore writing the zero as well. It doesn't matter. As long as we uh, make it become a zero, uh, enough, it's enough. Okay, 27 minus 6 is going to become 21. So if you notice, we have eliminated y because y and y is the same. Okay. So 3x is equivalent to 21 and x is equivalent to 21 divided by 3 and the answer for x or the value of x is going to be 7. What is the next step to find the y? There are two equations given, equation 1 and equation 2. You can actually take the value of x, which is 7, and substitute it into equation 1 or equation 2. You're going to get the same answer when you apply that into any of the equations, so it doesn't matter. So I have decided to uh, substitute x equals to 7 into uh, equation 2. So 2x plus y is equivalent to 6. Take the value of 7, uh, x equals to 7 and put it in the place of x there. So 2 times x means 2 times 7, which is equivalent to 14. So 14 plus y is equivalent to 6 and y is going to be 6 minus 14 and the final answer for y is negative 8. Okay, x plus 2y equivalent to 12 and uh, 3x uh, minus y is equivalent to 1. Okay, first I label. Okay, I'm going to label it as equation 1 and 2. Okay, next part decide which one you want to cancel. In this case, I want to cancel y. I want to eliminate y. So if you notice, I have written this equation one again. I'm not modifying the equation one. Equation two, I'm going to modify. You can see the changes that I'm doing now. I want to multiply by two so that the y becomes two y. Okay, after I create the equation, the new equation, yeah, uh, 3x minus y equals to 1 becomes 6x minus 2y equals to 2. I label it as 3. So nothing much. The equation 2 has been changed into equation 3. So on temporary basis, I do not want to refer to the first two parts, first two equation. I'm going to refer to only the second portion now. So for now, I'm not going to look at these two equations. I'm going to look at only these parts. Okay, let's now quickly decide how to cancel the y. Uh, one is positive and one is negative at the bottom here. Positive 2y and negative 2y. So what should I do? Whether plus or minus. Okay. I hope you uh, by this time you know how to plus or uh, minus, which one to use. Okay, I'm going to use plus. 
okay i have to plus the reason why i have to plus the equations i have to add the equation is 2y plus negative 2y will become 0 okay x plus 6x becomes 7 2y minus 2y becomes 0 and uh, 12 uh, plus 2 becomes 14 so since it is 7x is equivalent to 14 very simple x is equivalent to 14 divided by 7 which will become 2 okay first example and second example nothing uh, much uh, different you just have to convert one of the equations and make it become the same so that we have something to cancel if they are different we cannot simply cancel the rest of the steps are the same so now we are going to substitute take the value of x equals to 2 and substitute it into any of the equations okay any of the equation that you find it easy for you so for me equation 1 looks easier so i'm going to substitute inside equation 1 okay x plus 2y equivalent to 12 x is 2 so i'm going to bring the 2 to the opposite side and minus so 12 minus 2 going to be 10 2y equals to 10 so y is equivalent to 5 okay so our answer is x equivalent to 2 y is equivalent to 5 I'm going to change the equation 1 by multiplying it by 2. It will become 4x plus 6x equivalent to 26. And the equation 2, I'm going to make it become times by 3. So 9x plus 6x equivalent to 36. I want to cancel y so i have to make sure the 3y and the 2y becomes the lowest common multiple of them which is 6y so in order to make them become 6y i have to times by 2 and i have to times by 3 so after this you can easily cancel the 6y and 6y 